do commented on my YouTube video saying, I've got some moles on my face, I've got three moles on my mouth, I think they said. How can I have them removed naturally? And I see this a lot on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the stuff that I search for. I get all these things, and it's I think natural, natural removal of moles. Um, what does that mean, natural removal of moles? Can I get them removed naturally? What does that mean? I think that means by putting some stuff on them. Is that what they mean when they say naturally? Um, no, you can't. You can't sort of remove. Well, you can put stuff on them, but that's not natural. I don't know what it means, natural removal of moles. Moles are pigment cells. They are melanin melanocytes, which are cells with melanin in it, which is the pigment that we get in our skin. And they're normal melanocytes, which are throughout your, everyone's skin. Melanocytes are throughout your skin, and they are just conglomerations of, of melanocytes, basically. They are groups of, of these pigment-producing cells in, a, in an area, which then forms a, a brown mark. Um, and there are different levels of the skin, but they're all within the layers of the skin. So if you're going to get rid of a mole, you have to get rid of these cells, which are within the layers of the skin. So you have to destroy that tissue, those layers of skin. So you can destroy that tissue. You can destroy tissue in lots of ways. You can burn it. You can cut it out. You can put acid on it. You can freeze it. There's loads of ways you can destroy the skin, but they're all doing the same thing. They're destroying the skin. None of it's natural. So you, someone might say you can put this stuff on it and get rid of a mole. Well, that stuff you're putting on it is going to destroy the skin somehow. However, way I don't know what these creams or these stuff that people talk about on these YouTube videos, but um, it's not natural, but it is a way of removing the, the mole, and it will leave a mark. You can call it what you will, a scar, a mark. It's got to leave a mark, some kind of mark. Um, and because that layer, that, that skin has to be removed and then that, that will heal. So, um, you know, uh, we remove them surgically, which I think is the best way to remove it. I don't think it's good to remove them at home. Um, it's good practice to send them off for histology, especially brown moles, to check they're all okay. Um, and um, in a sterile, to remove it in a sterile environment. So, um, but, you know, I think, I don't know. So you, you can't remove moles naturally, but you can buy stuff that will remove them, but it will be stuff that will damage the skin because it has to damage the skin if it's going to get rid of the mole. So however you do it, whether it's with a laser which burns it, whether it's with cryotherapy which freezes it, whether it's with a knife by shaving it or curataging it or cutting it out, whatever, whichever way, none of it's natural, but it's destroying that bit of skin.